Most times we enjoy our samp as a base to dishes like stews and poiki. But did you know that you can also enjoy it as a soup? Well, today we show you how in our simple samp soup that will be served with freshly baked bread. This sounds delicious, chef. Oh, I tell you, soup and bread, <laughs> you've got me. To make our actual soup itself, Palas has already started. You guys are super performers. Well <laughs> oh, done. You know, we got to be one step ahead. You, know? <laughs> you started chopping up our uh, carrots for us, and then Palas started with the cabbage. I'm going to be making the, uh, the base. Now, if you've been tuning in from the beginning, Chef gave a very detailed explanation about the difference of the soup. So now, Pali, remember we're making a, a samp soup, so what per pairs perfectly? Our vegetable stock. So that's gonna be the base for our soup today. But to start it all off, we need to build the flavor. And how do we do that? I've got my onion, I've got my spices. Today we're using some cumin, uh, cumin. I've got some thyme and a bit of pepper. And then obviously all the flavors that are kind of gonna come from there. We've also got a bit of ginger and we've got some garlic. So all these flavors, as we're building it up, basically, like you said, Chef, the samp is gonna absorb all of it. And oh, just absolutely, make it more yeah. Delicious. Very much so. So to start it all off, I've been heating my oil over here, going in with my onion. Chef is chefing it up over there. With yeah, pretty much. <laughs> He's showing off. You see, like this is what happens when you get <laughs> completely licensed, certified chefs. <laughs> they come through with their chopping skills. I mean, I do not know how you're able to get away with chopping something so small, so finely, and not getting your fingers napped there. Well, the trick is in your knuckle, the second knuckle of your finger. Yeah. So what you're gonna do, the knife actually needs to rest up against there. So, you know, like your lovely French manicure tips and that, ladies, tuck <laughs> them away. So that's really tucked away, and that's where it's basically sliding up and down, oh, that second bar of your finger. All right, so that's what's protecting. <laughs> you never lift your knife above because you're wow. gonna take the top of your little, uh, knuckle off there, but it just sits against there, and that you can then just go. Chef, on your side, it seems like you chopped up and ready to go. Well, absolutely. I mean, you can have things done. I mean, I've just chopped up the, 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 the garlic and the ginger, which you can add in. You can grate it if you want to really intensify that uh, flavor. Uh, there's different techniques. I mean, obviously, I think, Tumi, you put yours in at, at this stage here. Yeah. Um, again, a soup, you know, you probably want to really cook that down. But if you really want to maximize the flavors of ginger and garlic, put it later on. That's mm. my sort of little 10 cents worth, is really put that on at a at later, the at the end. Wow. Because remember, what's going to happen is you've got little bits. What happens to little bits in a pan? They burn, they start mm. to lose their flavor. Mm. But it's entirely up to you what you really want and set out to do. What are you making? A sump soup. So you want to make sure you've got that sump coming through with whatever flavor components. If you want to really bring out the life of garlic and ginger, yeah. add it at a much later stage of the cooking process. But here, we're talking about vegetables, carrots going in, cabbage. Those are the real hero ingredients in this dish. So like Tim was saying, manipulate things so it suits you and what your desired outcome really is. Very, very interesting to me. And the best thing about it is that your soup is, or your samp is already cooked, so you don't have to cook this for hours on end because this part of the dish is already cooked. All you need to now do is cook this down to your desired consistency. Mm. Like I said, if you want a little, a little on the crunchier side, fine, you don't need to cook it for too long. If you want a little, little more soft and so forth, perfect, cook it for a little longer because now this is what we're doing. We're adding our stock. That then determines how much, how smooth or thick you want, I mean, how um, hard or crunchy you want your soup to be. So all we're gonna do now, do you want it crunchy, Balza? I do. I do right. like a nice crunch, a nice bite into my vegetables whenever I do enjoy my soup. And at the end of the day, I also heard a nice sizzle yes. on that pan when you put that stock in. How hot must your pot be? The whole idea is we want to get that, we want to release whatever, if there's anything that's burned onto the, the bottom, bottom what we do, what do we call that, Chef, when you... Uh, caramelized. We, we, it's well, caramelized. Things are caramelized, not burnt, Timmy. Let's have an opinion. What do you, what do you like? Um, but that's actually called deglazing. De so adding a word. liquid into your into your um, fried uh, pan, you're deglazing. So you're getting all those wonderful little nooks and just essences of beautiful flavor that's going to be released come through and then infuse into the actual liquid itself. Ay, la, 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 they will <laughs> finesse you. Now, it's certainly feeling a lot warmer in our kitchen and we want to get you in on the action. So don't forget to head over to afternoonexpress.co.za for the full ingredients list for this tummy filling recipe. Now, Dumi, this looks good, smells even better, but what are we going to be making when we come back? Well, I'm handing over the reins. I think I've done my part for today. <laughs> it's really? over to Chef Chart because he's going to be making a delicious French onion soup. I think this is classic. It, it oh, doesn't get any better than that. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Well, do not move a muscle because we're going to be back with that delicious French onion soup when we return.